Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here, bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Today, guys, I have a a bit of a tutorial for you. Um, I, I don't have a I don't have a raid today, so because uh, nobody nobody sent me any raid coordinates, and um, basically I haven't had time uh, on the Sunday because I was basically watching football all of today, just because football is amazing. If you guys aren't into that sport, you guys should start because it's a great sport. But yeah, so I haven't found any raids for today yet. Um, Insanity is doing some homework, so he won't be recording with me today. But I had, I added on, I think it was Friday night, I added a little bit of an addition to my iron golem farm to make my life uh, a little bit easier. And I guess I, um, you know, I just decided I should share it with you guys and teach you guys how to make it so that you guys will be able to implement this into your iron base farm or iron golem farm if you guys do decide to make mine. Um, a quick note. This sorter doesn't, um, it's basically an item sorter, so what I want, or what the plans for it, is that all the roses will just end up in these chests, and then the rest of these chests will be filled up with iron ingots, and it'll just make it very easy to sell and sort, like I wouldn't have to sort it manually. But uh, a quick note, as, as, as I was saying, uh, this sorter doesn't fully 100% work for uh, this farm, just because of the amount of items that is inflowing from all of these hoppers from when the iron golem farm is running so um you will find an occasional rose in each of the in each of the chests so i just recently emptied these but th there's some see as you can see there are some roses in some of them but if you look at the bottom chest a majority of it a majority of the chests are going to be fully sorted into like iron ingots and just it just makes life a little bit easier and uh if you guys are running a smaller farm like not one of my massive farms um, I'm actually getting about 3 million per hour, like I think it's actually a little bit more than that, but as you can see here, there are some poppies that do end up getting filtered into this chest, but as a majority of it, like all the poppies normally just go into this chest as you just saw right there. So um, I'm going to give you guys a quick look at uh, how I built this. I'm going to do slash fly here real quickly, just to show you guys. Uh, so this is what the mechanism looks like. Gotta break this block, but this is, okay, so this is the sorter here, this is like, this hopper right here is basically what filters out the items, and then there's a series of redstone mechanisms that I will explain in the tutorial. So yeah, so this uh, episode is going to be a tutorial on how to make an item sorter. It doesn't have to be for an iron golem farm, I mean, you could honestly make one for like, that'll sort cobblestone, dirt, sand, but you know, I don't want to make my base too massive, and just to save space, I did it only for my iron golem farm. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to hop on over to a single player uh, creative world just to uh, show you guys how to build this really quickly in creative mode so I don't have to buy more materials. So the, basically this is what a compact version of my iron golem farm will look like. So like this is not, there's not really a chest here. Just imagine there's a bunch of hoppers feeding into this top line. So what, what it is is... Here's uh this is the chest that I'm actually collecting stuff in and then if you if you guys want to imagine it a little bit more like this is just a tall stack of chests that I have like the main stack of chests that like imagine this going down like six chests this going down six this going down six so this is basically like the collecting wall and then this uh these set of hoppers are very top right here these are the hoppers that basically just um basically transport all of the items across each of the separate uh, sorters which will determine which items um, are sorted into which chests and then uh, so this chest right here or this middle hopper as I was saying earlier is the hopper that sorts the items so as I want iron ingots to go into these two chests I need to fill this up I will explain this more into detail as I do do the build and then this last chest of course is the poppies and all the poppies go into that chest alright so let's get started it's very simple to build guys so let's let's imagine let's build over here a little bit so this is your chest row, and let's let's make this. Uh, so this very last chest is going to be where I want all of my miscellaneous junk. So let's. I'm gonna make this tutorial on like let's say cobblestone and let's do cobblestone, grass, dirt, and then poppies. Uh, poppies. All right. So just to give you guys an idea of how the sorter works. So this is your collection chest, and let's say that this is the chest that you want all your junk items to be in. And then you want, let's say we're at the very end, we're gonna want the stone to end up here. We're gonna want the grass to end up here, 
and then we're going to want the dirt to end up here. So let's get started. So this is our layout. This is our chest collection layout. And uh, we're going to start out with putting a hopper into each one. You're going to shift click and then put it on, attach it to your hopper like so. And then one underneath the hopper that you just placed, you need to put a, need to put a, what's it called? A redstone, a redstone torch. So you, you're going to grab a redstone torch. Let's put that away for now and then put it right underneath. So it's directly underneath where the hopper is. So you're going to do that for each one. Let's do this really quickly. Oops, I just broke that. So um, a redstone torch underneath each one, just like so. And then afterwards, you're going to hop, you're going to make another, uh, like put another stone behind the original hopper like this. And then you are going to add a, you could actually do uh, two. Add two on top of the original stone. And then you're going to put a hopper pointing into the stone. So this this hopper that I'm placing right now that's pointing into the stone, as you can see, I'm shift clicking and then clicking it on the stone above the original hopper. So this hopper right here, this middle row right here, this top row, this is the hopper that's going to be our sorter. So basically, whatever you want to be sorted into that chest is going to be associated with this hopper here. So this hopper, this last hopper, which is we want to be our miscellaneous chest, we want, we're not going to have anything inside it. But we're just going to continue on with the build, and then I'll explain how to do all of that stuff in, in the next step. So what you're going to want to do below this, you know, you could use any block, but I'm using stone just to make it easier for you guys to see. So across the, uh, this is the redstone torch at the very bottom. So on the opposite side of the redstone torch, you're going to add a redstone repeater pointed towards the block that the redstone torch is placed. So here's the stone block. As, as you can see, the repeater is pointing towards the block that the redstone torch is placed on. And then you're going to grab a stone and put it directly on top. And then you're going to repeat this for all of them. So as you can see, all the torches or all the repeaters are pointed into the stone that the redstone torch is being placed on. And then above that repeater, you're going to put another stone block like so. And then afterwards, you are going to break that original stone that you used to place this to make it point towards that rock. All right, so you're going to break that. And then here's our design so far. So it's a, it's a nice and compact design to make a sorter. And uh, it works very well as long as you have, you have um, space management skills. So now you're going to need to make some redstone comparators. If you guys don't know how to make that, just look it up on Google really quickly. And um, get the recipe for it. Or you can do slash recipe if you guys have the donation kit. And here's the next step. So here's the hopper that's pointed towards what was originally our stone block. And you're going to step on top of the hopper and then place down a redstone comparator. So as you can see, the two notches are going to be towards the hopper side. And then the one notch is going to be pointed that way, away from our little mechanism. So you're going to do that for all of them. You're basically just going to be placing down these comparators. And then there we go. So this is basically almost ready. And now all you have to do is run a redstone trail down the, the stone block and then connect it. So let's go down the stone block and connect it. And there we go, guys. This is our sorter. This is all you have to do. Can I do slash slash butcher in a creative world? No, I don't have any plugins. So that's basically all you have to do to make the redstone mechanism. And then at the very top, so since this, as we decided in the beginning, this last chest to the far right is going to be our junk chest. So we're going to put a hopper above it pointed straight down. So as you can see, this hopper is pointed into the sorting one. And then we're going to put a trail of hoppers leading into the the junk chest so it's just going to basically go across our entire assembly shift click and go across the entire assembly until you have it there so as if you can remember my base this is the very top layer and what this is going to do is basically if, if an item enters any of these hoppers it'll run through this entire series and then get sorted if it's if the item is running through the series and get sorted accordingly which whatever item we have in this sorter so let's get started so as we said in the beginning we, we wanted stone to be in this first chest so this sorter right here this sorting hopper in the middle right here is gonna have to be semi filled up with stone so how we're gonna have it sort out just the stone chests we're gonna take a, a stack of stone or in the like if you actually want ironing it you could do whatever so whatever item you want to be sorted 
into this first chest. You're going to add a full row of it. And then you're going to slowly just randomly add uh, different blocks until a block gets sucked out of one of these slots. So if I keep adding, you'll slowly notice that that 5 just went to a 6 and then quickly you shot back down to a 5. So if I add another one, you can see it's lowering in the number and that means that it's filtering the stone and going into the chest. As you can see, we now have two stone in this chest. So this is this filter is set that's already like you don't really need a lot of the item for the sorting process to be done. So let's do this again with the next one. So we want grass blocks to be in this chest. So let's take that one out and then we're going to fill the entire row with grass and then just slowly randomly add until we see one of these values go down by one. So let's keep just keep adding basically. All right, there we go. So as you can see now, if we add another one, a single block gets sucked out and that means that this set this sorter the sorting hopper right here is set and as you can see the grass blocks are being placed and then the, for this last chest we said we wanted dirt so let's put dirt across the row and then once again add ra just ra random intervals of stuff into there of this of the dirt and as you can see it's slowly starting to lower and that means that this sorter is ready all right so this is our miscellaneous chest our junk chest so we don't want anything in here or we want whatever we don't want sorted into this one so we don't want to add any items at all whatsoever into this item hopper as this is the junk chest all right so let's get started i'm going to add poppies which will be my junk and then i'll have dirt here grass and then we need some stone so this is the four items that we are going to be sorting through these chests and just as an example i'm going to add a chest here a chest doesn't have to be here when you guys actually make your sorter i'm just going to add it into here so you guys can see the items will be flowing through and getting sorted accordingly so i'm going to grab a quarter stack of stone put it in the chest quarter stack of grass put it in the chest quarter stack of this Put it in there and then the poppies all right so basically what will happen is the stone or whatever item will slowly get sucked in and then be pushed down this conveyor belt until it reaches the last hopper and as you can see the stone is already being sorted out and it's already all gone basically and as you can see the stone all filtered out to this first chest because we had a sorting stone assembly in this sorting hopper right here. I might be using a lot of terms that are kind of confusing, but it w if you guys follow the guide or follow this tutorial very carefully, um, it'll basically all work out to exactly how you want it to. And so we wanted the stone in this first chest and all 16 stone that we originally placed in that chest has been now been sorted. And then the same thing, we have wanted grass here and all the grass that we wanted is now in here. And then all dirt here, and then all the dirt that we place is now in there. As you guys can see, the poppies, the ones that we are considering in this tutorial as the junk, are the ones that are being placed into the last chest. So this is just a quick tutorial for you guys on how to make a nice, quick, and compact item sorter. So I use this for my iron golem farm, just same principle, basically iron ingots all across these sorting chests here. And then the last one is just the poppies, which uh, basically get filtered down. And uh, just to give you guys more of a visual, if you guys wanted to uh, expand this farm like I did, just to have it more spaces to loot, all you got to do is place some hoppers directly below it. And there we go. You have another layer of chests. And then you can basically repeat this with however much room you need. And there you go. So as you guys can see here, it'll slowly start getting filtered all the way down until this chest is filled and until this chest is filled. So yeah, this is my hopper system that I got off of another tutorial on YouTube and I decided to share it with you guys today. Uh, that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. And um, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys do like and subscribe all of my videos. I really do appreciate it. I am close to a thousand followers, a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And I am planning a vlog, a v video log of that monumental portion. I just have to buy a webcam because my old webcam broke if, that, if I do happen to reach that goal sometime soon. Uh, my school is starting tomorrow, Monday. This, is, this actually might be uh, uploaded tomorrow or later tonight. I'm not really quite positive yet. So my uploads might slow down a little bit, maybe one or two per week. But it really all just depends on how much time I have and how much time school is going to be taking from my uploading schedule. So yeah, hope you guys learned how to make a sorter. And uh, hope you guys do implement one of these into your base. As you guys can see, 
it is very simple to make and it just takes a quick maybe 10-15 minutes to make the full system and it makes life a lot easier. So yeah, thank you guys for watching these videos and this is Dfield and I will see you guys later.